Right, in today's video, we are going to be checking out some of the true paranormal stories of Reddit. So we're going to go ahead and check these out, see if they're true or not. Let's go ahead and check it out. Thanks, Dad. I hope I got your message correct. So I'll try not to make this too long, but i am recently separated. I've been back in the dating scene pretty quickly. I've been seeing a goal for a bit. We're just friends and taking a slowish. It does feel somewhat serious from my side, at least. That is a horror story. So, a few weeks ago, we were supposed to meet for the first time, but she changed her mind and said she just wants to be friend. Hence, the horror story begins. Since we are still taking, uh, talking, but as friends, I took it pretty hard. I was quite upset at the time. I felt heartbroken. And given I just came out of a 10-year relationship, it was probably too soon for me to be getting that deep with someone else. Anyways, I said... I, as I said, we were still talking, my dad recently passed during my separation from the long-term relationships. I had to see my shrink at the time. This new friend decided we were just friends. He said to me, you don't want to be getting so deep with someone after what you've just been through, with, to which I agreed. I have taken it semi-seriously. Maybe not to the point I should, because last night I'm texting the new girl. My phone starts playing uh, Leonard's Sky Nerd, Freebird. Randomly out of nowhere, the app on my iPhone it was coming from was no music app I have installed. I was just playing through a blank unlisted music player in iOS, then it stopped, and my message app disappeared and reappeared. I'm fairly agnostic and realist, I don't take any paranormal thing very seriously. I looked up the meaning of the song, something about being free as a man not being tied down. My father was also from the 60s rock era, I do believe this was a message from him to tell me to chill out with a new girl and not to get hurt be free what do you guys think i'm also it professional and i understand ios deeply there's no way the song came on for any logical reason from a background app i checked thoroughly so based on everything you just told me right i i guess it's cool to think your dad may have sent you a message um maybe it's the universe telling you to leave this girl alone and just uh you know go on to the next one so um Maybe, maybe, I, I don't want to discredit anything out here, but who knows? Let's see what the comments say for this one. I think you need to take a step back and not rush into anything right now. Any female you get with right now will end up being a rebound girlfriend and end up very hurt by you. Take a step back and take a breather. Okay, anyways, moving on. The devil in disguise. Okay. I honestly don't know if this was real or not, but yesterday I went to sleep and I hear what sounds like a door in my room open and feel someone's getting into bed with me. I felt the bed sink slightly from the weight of whatever or whoever was getting ready to lay beside me. I opened my eyes slightly to see the face of what happened to be someone I know just for it to shift into what looked like a severely wrinkled face. I would say it was sleep paralysis, but later that afternoon my brother had asked if he had heard a scream around 3 in the morning. I'm generally finding it hard to grasp if what I experienced was real. It probably wasn't real. It's probably a pillow you made out with last night. But um, <laughs> uh, I, it could be sleep paralysis. It could be just, you know, hallucination. People see weird things in the dark. And the scream could have just been from outside your house. You never know. So, um, yeah, it could just be, you know, your uncle as well. Moving on. Has anyone had an experience of seeing a tall black cloaked like a shadow figure? This happened twice in my childhood. I saw it six years apart. I came across a guy online sharing his experience. I messaged him and what he described seeing was identical to what I saw. I'm curious if there's anyone else who's also gone through that. Not that I can say I have. Uh, although I have seen a, you know, a tall black cloaked like shadow and um, it was pr my roommate for Halloween. So... Moving on. Saw the hat man one time. Okay. I won't lie and say I'm not fully convinced that my house is haunted. But all the strange little things that have happened to me since around middle school would require a different post. So I'll just stick to the one time I thought I saw one of the most famous dream demons in the shadow. It is only once and only for a second. I'm fully aware of it is probably nothing more than a dream. But as someone who doesn't typically remember my dreams and can still see this when I close my eyes, it certainly made an impression of nothing else. But the strangest thing happened is a timing. I have a full length mirror in my bedroom, usually it lives in the corner, nothing particularly creepy about it. it I just generally dislike mirrors. However, a leak sprung in my room so I had to move it out for a while while I cleaned and I forgot to put it back. Its new position let me see 
myself from my bed and I didn't like it. But I was too tired to move it back. Then later that night, I was having a perfectly normal, forgettable dream until I walked into my room and saw the famous hat man wearing Shadow himself standing against the wall in my room, right in front of O of where I moved the mirror. I think he started turning towards me and I was unable to move from where I was standing in my doorway. And then I woke up and that afternoon the mirror went back to where it had been before. Never seen him again. Well. It's, it's probably just a dream. Again, I don't want to discredit anything, but the hat man? Are you talking about like Alice in Wonderland, the, the Mad Hatter? Is, is that what you're talking about? Because I could see Johnny Depp coming into my dreams and that'd be pretty creepy if, if he was dressed like that. But um... Yeah, moving on. Paranormal activity. My experiences growing up have been freakishly similar to Katie's backstory from paranormal activity. Things have escalated to the point of the movie, but it's still something that looks for the back of my mind. I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> Seeing a blue flash for years, any ideas? Since I was a teen, I'd seen a blue flash at random off and on for probably about eight years now. It doesn't. It is always when I was alone and it's one of those blink and it's gone scenarios. I recently saw it tonight for the first time in a long time and it always looked like a blue flash of light streaking to the side of a blurry picture. It never made me feel uncomfortable or scared but surprising I suppose. It's what we people call epilepsy. Or probably just got a number or something in your eye. First time seeing a ghost. I've never been live. I have been living in this house for just under a year now. I didn't like it from the world, but my parents loved it here, so we are, here we are. Fast asleep in my bed, had an overwhelming feeling of not being alone in my room. So I opened my eyes and looked around, but couldn't find anything at first. Then suddenly, I met my eyes. Something met my eyes. Really strange. The only way I can describe it is a man made of glass or carved from ice, totally transparent, but his features were lit up by the slightest light saucers he was staring right at me and while i was trying to work out what the hell i was seeing he took a step closer towards the foot of my bed and his features were getting more and more visible i didn't scream because my dad worked stupid hours and he had to wake up in about an hour it was at 3 a.m and that just engraved in my brain not to wake him up i pulled the covers over my head and tucked under my and tucked my feet under the duvet i dared not to look up again and he was even closer. I kid you not, I actually passed off and free. My heart was going so fast that I lost consciousness. I woke up in the morning and that was sad. I told my brother about it and he said he would weird things. My dog also gets super aggro in the house sometimes. He's a guard dog, so I figured he was adjusting to the new house and extra wary of everything, but I don't know why. So a week later, I'm chatting to my friend on the Xbox and we had a laugh and a joke. All of a sudden, my tub chair just tips the fuck over. Those things just don't fall over, it's their whole design. I shat myself and my friend could hear me freaking out on the headset anyways, I'm not happy. I live in the countryside of Wales, UK. So much history. We could be pitched on a battlefield or a witch burning site, who knows. I love it here, but I hate my new friend, who I refer to as a glass man. I now believe in ghosts because no matter who you meet in life, they will have a ghost story and know somebody who does. I just hope he hasn't got any evil intentions and that he leaves my shit alone. Well, I hope so for you too. I hope so for you too. If he's a bloke, then just, you know, tell him just to piss off or something. I'm sure he'd understand. But um, this does seem a bit weird, especially the glass figure thing does seem a bit terrifying. I wouldn't be, I want to be in a position. Uh, but um, yeah, that's, that's something to think about in the night for sure. A weird phone call. Okay. I don't know where to post this, but I found it odd. Me and my friend or co-worker were on the phone one night talking and all of a sudden you hear a high-pitched whisper that said hello. My co-worker said, why did he say hello? I said that wasn't me. And she hung up the phone. What would have caused that? Why did we both hear a female's voice? Maybe, um... Maybe it is one of your co-workers, Mrs. Or it could be, um... Your mom picking up the landline if it was a landline i doubt it's a landline it's 2024 but uh <laughs> yeah that is a bit weird let's see what the comments say for this one i personally think it could just be like a quick malfunction like the telephone wires or something that's changed up if it's a landline but 
had had this happen to me in 2006 2006 is definitely most likely a landline i may have one that may be freaky or the year my mother died months later i got a call on halloween of all days asking if she was home and what and, and and available that just seems like a dickhead move to do but anyways guys comment down below which one you guys thought was the creepiest one honestly i think the the one with the glass figure ghost was definitely something pretty unique but um yeah comment down below which one you guys thought was the creepiest leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching